Traders, welcome to day 12 of the Master Your Trading Mindset movement. Now, if it's the first time checking into this movement, let me give you a recap what this is all about. Throughout December, every day for 30 days, I'm gonna be posting a video a day. And these videos are dedicated primarily to help each and every single one of you master your trading mindset heading into 2023 so you can have the most successful year yet in your trading and in your life in general. Watching these videos, implementing the tools and practices and teachings I share in these videos will put you in a position to have your psychology in a great place heading into 2023 and you can go off and accomplish your trading goals like scaling with funding, etc., etc. Now the one thing I ask each and every single one of you to do is to subscribe, turn notification bells on, show up every single day to watch the videos I put out, like, comment, all those types of things, and please share the videos with those you know will benefit from them as well, whether that's other trader friends, whether that's in your trading communities or even on social media. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about visualization. I'm gonna be sharing some really key insights on how I use visualization, on how I share with my clients to use visualization, and touch on in the 12-week program as well, because visualization is a great tool to help you embody certain principles that allow you to be consistent as a trader. You guys and girls know that I talk a lot about outcome versus process-based thinking and decision-making. I'm gonna be sharing how you can utilize visualization to, um, to facilitate the proper type of mindset before you get into positions. This is gonna help lower emotional volatilities in trades. This is gonna help you make better decisions more in alignment with your trading plan and ultimately help you build consistent profitability. I'm super excited for this one, so let's dive into it. We're talking all about using visualization to become a successful trader in 2023. Now, what's the big problem we're tackling here? Well, the first problem or major problem that I see very consistent with traders especially, I've had hundreds of traders come through the 12-week program. This is a very common challenge that I see. I've also worked one-on-one -on -one with hundreds of traders and um, I've had the opportunity to consult for prop firms and education companies. So I've had the opportunity to work with a, a large spectrum of traders and this is probably one of the most common challenges I see. Traders have unrealistic and unachievable expectations and they're coming in with certain expectations to the market which don't align with the way the market moves and the laws of the market, we can call them. And what traders are doing is they're setting themselves up for failure. They're setting themselves up to be highly emotional and make poor decisions. Most traders set unrealistic slash unachievable expectations with their visualizations or just with their, with their goals and fantasies in general. This leads to stress and strong emotional volatilities. What traders are doing is they're seeking after the unattainable and trying to avoid the unavoidable. Traders are setting visualizations, and I see this common with traders, and this is a very key challenge that traders think they're helping themselves, but they're not. They're visualizing themselves as this trader who only takes wins, and they're visualizing and setting this fantasy for themselves of just winning. And the positions they take in, they, they execute on with zero drawdown, and it goes right into profit for them, um, and they're making money straight away, and they're only winning. So what they're doing is they're, with their visualization, they're setting an expectation of the unattainable. The unattainable as a trader is all winning. Remember, we're trading a probability model, which means that to be consistently profitable in the future requires you to both win and lose. Both winning and losing are essential to become consistently profitable. Why? Because you're trading a probability model, a sample space, and there's a sequence of winning and losing that over a long period of time yields you an edge or yields you consistent profitability. So if we're in our mind setting this visualization of we only win as traders, you're setting yourself up to have an unrealistic expectation and you're trying to seek after the unattainable. So too traders are trying to avoid the unavoidable, which is no losing, right? They're, 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 they're so scared of losing, they're so addicted to winning. And what this does is it sets unrealistic, unachievable expectations. And what actually happens is traders come to the market because they're so afraid of losing, because they've visualized for, for, for months and for years that they're only a trader who wins. And they come to the market, and now because they're so afraid of losing, because they're seeking after this fantasy of winning all the time, what actually happens is they disrupt their very edge. They don't stick to their processes. They trade based on how they feel and what they think the market's gonna do. And the moment the market moves in the wrong direction against them, 
even though that may be necessary for consistent profitability in the future, they disrupt their edge. They get emotional, they make irrational decisions, et cetera, et cetera. So what I really wanna try and communicate, I communicate this in detail in my 12 week program, especially when I teach you what I teach you in week five in the Mindset Masterclasses. Perfection as a trader isn't, you know, the perfect trader or the, the perfect, the perfection as a trader isn't a trader who always wins, it's a trader who both wins and loses. And when you encompass both winning and losing as part of the perfection as a trader, you learn to have realistic expectations in yourself, you learn to be process-based. And it's taking that one step further and understanding that losing actually serves you as a trader and it helps you grow as a trader. So I really wanna, I really wanna dissect this and, and harp on it and stress it that when you do your visualizations, you have to encompass both parts of the journey. Visualization, if you wanna visualize yourself as a professional trader, it's about recognizing that as a professional trader, you're gonna both win and lose. Both are essential. Okay, so let's dive a little bit deeper on this. Now, the benefits of visualization. Great, uh, visualization is great for preparing and priming the psychology, okay? There's been a lot of research, and I know Dispenza, Joe Dispenza talks about this in his books as well, that um, there's, the brain struggles to differentiate between uh, something that you just visualize in your mind and physically do in, in, in reality, you can almost, in a sense, um, show your brain the very, the very same neural pathways fire in your brain when you visualize something versus actually do it in real life. And what you're doing is you're conditioning the mind to prepare um, and prime the mind to be in that particular situation. And it's no surprise um, that, like we're gonna talk about soon, that a lot of athletes um, use visualization um, because what it does, it gives them this feeling of, I've been there, I've done that. And usually what athletes do is they visualize the process, right? So if you're a, if you're a sprinter, um, actually a great example of this is Michael Phelps. He's talked about this in, in his interviews that he visualized himself swimming, every stroke, every turn, right? Every breath, those are the things they visualize um, even the Formula One drivers is a, a great Netflix documentary on the Formula One. And you see a lot of these Formula One drivers, these, these elite performers, they've closed their eyes um, and they actually go through the process of what it means to be successful on that track. And you can see them, they're closing their eyes, they've got their hands out and they're doing the pedals and they're changing gears and they're visualizing the turns and a lot of them, they can do it perfectly in their mind before they actually go in and, and do the race. And what this is doing is it's priming the psychology, I've already been here, I've already done that. I, I, I know exactly what to do in these situations and this is where confidence goes to the roof. This is where um, certainty in your decision-making goes to the roof. This is where the emotional volatility is lessened because you're comfortable in that environment. Now, the key thing here is that these athletes now, they may in their mind have an awareness that they wanna be the best, right? They want that particular outcome. But when it comes to their very specific visualizations, they're visualizing the process that will help them get that outcome, okay? Michael Phelps is visualizing the strokes and the breathing and the turning and how many strokes before the turn, et cetera, et cetera, all these little minute details of the process. So too, the Formula One drivers are the process of the turn, of the speed, of the gear that they're in, right? So the thing I take away from these, these high performers is that they're constantly visualizing, preparing and priming themselves on the outcome, uh, on, the, on the process, sorry, not the outcome. They're aware of the outcome, they obviously want the outcome, but when it comes to the visualization, they're focused on visualizing and priming their psychology on the process. So when we bring this to trading, what does this look like? And we're gonna talk about this in a second, but it's about understanding your trading plan, plan inside and out and visualizing the market aligning with your trading plan and then you effortlessly executing the very process that you've planned out and you've scripted into your trading plan um, mechanically and it's about executing on that and that's what I really wanna um, encourage traders to, to visualize. And we're gonna get a little bit deeper on this as well, so let's get into that now. So to ensure consistency in 2023, because remember, consistency in your uh, results come from consistency in your execution. Visualization is a great tool to help you have consistent execution in 2023. Now, you wanna do a few visualizations prior to taking any trades. And if you can be consistent with this throughout 2023, 
you'll see a change, you'll see a, you'll see a difference in your emotional state, you'll see a difference in your results, etc., etc. The first visualization you want to do before you take a trade is like I mentioned, you want to flawlessly visualize yourself flawlessly executing on your process, which means that you're aware of your setups, you're aware of your trading plan. When the market aligns with that, you visualize yourself flawlessly putting a position on, following through with your processes, okay? Just like the Formula One, Formula One drivers do, just like the Michael Phelps do. And you're focusing on visualizing yourself in the process, not the outcome. The second visualization that you want to do is you want to, after you visualize yourself putting the process on, you want to visualize that very position playing out in your favor. You want to do the positive outcome, okay? So you're looking at a, partic a particular setup on your dollar, and what you're doing here before you place that trade because it aligns with your trading plan, you're closing your eyes, you're visualizing it coming to your entry point, you executing flawlessly on your processes, and then it playing out in your favor to be a win. Okay, the other visualization you want to do is you want to close your eyes and visualize that exact same process again. Euro dollar coming to your entry, the market's aligning perfectly with your trading plan, you flawlessly execute on your processes and the trade takes you out for a loss and your processes are playing out perfectly. For the second visualization number two here, it's hitting your take profit or you're trailing your stop and you're getting out for profit. On the third one here, your processes are playing out perfectly, the market takes you out, hits your stop loss, or you take a loss in that particular moment, and you're accounting for both outcomes. So what you've done here, let's recap, you've visualized your process, you executing flawlessly on your process, you visualized outcome number one, which is the positive outcome, the win, the positive outcome, right? And then you also visualize the negative outcome, which is the loss. The reason I put positive and negative outcome here it's because you guys and girls know how important it is to disattach from the individual outcome. But what you're doing with this visualization is you're preparing and priming your psychology for either way that the market goes, pos positive or negative, win or loss, you, your processes are perfect, playing out perfectly. The other thing you're doing here is you're priming your psychology that either outcome is possible because the truth is nobody knows which way the market's gonna go. So either outcome here is possible. Now what this is gonna do is if you're going into that position because you think it's gonna be a win, the moment you visualize the negative outcome, you may actually come to the, and you realize that that's a very possible outcome for that particular position, you may come to the realization that, you know what, this trade isn't actually part of my plan. I'm only taking this trade because I think it's gonna be a win. And the moment you entertain the idea that it could very well go the other direction because nobody knows what the market's gonna do, you actually snap yourself out of this outcome-based thinking and you get back to your processes. So what I'm trying to communicate here is you wanna ingrain yourself being relentless and flawless in the execution of your processes. You wanna visualize both outcomes, the positive and the negative outcome, the trade playing in, in, in your favor and not in your favor, as a way to open your mind to realize that either outcome is as possible and to now disattach from the individual outcome of that one trade so you go back to your processes. Because the only reason you'd be comfortable taking a trade that could potentially be a loss is if it aligned with your trading plan and you know you knew you were executing on a sample space that over a long period of time would yield you profitable uh, profitability. And that's what this visualization exercise allows you to do. Now, Irrespective of the outcome, you are sticking to your process, you are also preparing for either outcome as both outcomes are very possible in the markets. And this will help take you out of uh, the outcome-based thinking. And by the way, when you're, when you're visualizing the trade playing out, the positive outcome playing out for your favor, hitting your take profit, you don't wanna be seeking after that or yearning after that or necessarily wanting that more than the other because what that does then is it again pushes you into outcome-based thinking. But all you're doing is you're accounting that this on this individual trade, it could be a potential outcome. But I don't care if it's a win or a loss. I'm taking this trade because it aligns with my trading plan. What's important is the consistent execution of my trading plan over a long sample space, a long period of time, a large sample space, because that's ultimately what's gonna yield me consistent profitability in 2023. And you can very well be a consistent trader a consistently profitable trader throughout 2023, throughout the year of 2023, 
if you have a clear trading plan, if you utilize these principles, the mindset principles to balance yourself, to stick to your processes, if before every trade you identify is this a process-based decision or an outcome-based decision, and if you're making outcome-based decision, ground the unrealistic expectations so you get back to making process-based decisions, and you can have consistent profitability in 2023. Now, in summary, don't visualize unrealistic, unachievable outcomes as a trader. All positive, only winning, I'm only up as a trader, I'm only gonna have positive weeks, I'm only gonna have positive months. These are all unrealistic and unachievable. Truth is nobody actually knows which way the market's gonna go. So to have outcome-based expectations like this or visualize these outcomes is unachievable and it's unrealistic. You wanna encompass both parts of the journey, both winning and losing, but what's most important is you wanna visualize yourself executing flawlessly on the process, and after a large sample space, after a year of trading, two years of trading, you know you have an edge there. Visualize yourself flawlessly executing the processes, visualize both outcomes of a position, so you encompass and you realize both are possible, so you pull yourself away from outcome-based thinking on the individual trade, you go back to your processes, you know you're executing this trade, not because of the outcome, but because it aligns with your, with your processes. If you resonate with this particular lecture, make sure you check out the others first and foremost. We're up day 12 today, so if you haven't already watched day one to 11, make sure you check those out. I also encourage you, if you know this is gonna help someone in, in your trading community or a trading friend, make sure you share it with them. Share it on your social medias. This is a form of social accountability, so the more people you tell about the program, the more accountability you're gonna to have to focus on your own mindset um, and empower that because people are gonna ask you, hey, how are you going on the, on the Mastery Trading Mindset Movement? And you wanna be accountable to yourself. Also getting as many people involved in the Mastery Trading Mindset Movement helps traders focus on the right things to focus on um, as a trader. Now, if you resonate with this particular lecture, make sure you check out the free trial to the, to the 12 week program below in the description. But I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for day 13 of the Master Your Trading Mindset Movement.